Good morning, Grizzone. My name is Miss Melanie, and we're in week two of our Blast Off series. And today we're going to talk about how others can help grow our faith. So the story today is about a man who wanted to go see Jesus, but he couldn't get there on his own. You'll find out in the story why he couldn't, but he needed his friends to help him. So what are some things that you think you can do to help show people to Jesus? Or that maybe other people do for you to help you see Jesus? Um, like your mom and dad take you to church, right? And your teachers at church teach you about Jesus? But there's things you can do too. What do you think? You think you could probably pray for somebody or you can tell them about how much Jesus loves them? So we're gonna find out in our story why this man couldn't get to see Jesus and how his friends helped him. So we're gonna do a countdown and a blast off again. So I need you guys to get up. Come on, if you're sitting down, stand up. You ready? My buddies are gonna help. So here we are. We're gonna find my buddies right here. Where are they? There they are. Ready guys? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! There they go. Have a good week everybody. Hey everyone. We've been talking a lot about outer space today. Would you ever want to visit outer space? If you were an astronaut, there would be so much to see and explore. But do you know what you wouldn't be able to find in space? Take a guess. <laughs> People. Today, I want to tell you a Bible story about a man who really needed help from other people. Are you ready to blast off into today's story? Count down with me. Three, two, one. Blast off! This story is about a group of friends. One day, Jesus was hanging out at someone's house. When the town heard he was there, they all came running to see him. Everyone wanted to be close to Jesus. Before long, there were so many people that the house couldn't hold one more person. There were even people standing outside. The man I was telling you about lived nearby. But he couldn't come to see Jesus because he was paralyzed. Meaning, he wasn't able to walk on his own. He didn't even have a wheelchair or people to help him get around. But his friends heard that Jesus had the power to make sick people better. So they took him to see Jesus. But remember, the house where Jesus was, was packed full. What were they going to do? First, they carried him to the house. Then, they climbed up onto the roof. Then, they cut a hole in the roof, right above where Jesus was standing. Then, they lowered their friend through the roof. And then, Jesus healed him. Isn't that amazing? This man never would have had the chance to meet Jesus if his friends hadn't helped him. And just like this man's friends helped him get close to Jesus, we can help each other too. Because people can help our faith grow. My friend. 
friend forever When I get scared You make me braver You are my friend My friend forever Oh, I've got a friend A friend in Jesus He loves everything about me I've got a friend A friend in Jesus He loves everything about me Alright Hey, who knows where your head is? What about your shoulders? Can you point to your knees and your toes? Awesome, let's do it together. My head and shoulders, knees and toes. He loves everything about me. My eyes and ears and mouth and nose. He loves everything about me. My head and shoulders, knees and toes. He loves everything about me. My eyes and ears and mouth and nose. He loves everything about me. Everybody say, I've got a friend. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path.